Welcome to the precinct of the 12th in the bustling city of New York, where Captain Barney Miller and his eclectic team of detectives graced the television screens from 1975 to 1982 in the sitcom Barney Miller. In a world often dominated by flashy crime dramas, this series took a different route, focusing on the daily grind of a police station, delivering humor, wit, and a touch of social commentary. As we delve into the precinct's corridors, it's worth pondering. Are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this TV series that fascinate you? Perhaps you have a favorite character among the ensemble cast a detective whose quirks and idiosyncrasies left a lasting impression. Out of the many roles in this TV series, which one was your favorite? Now, let's shine a spotlight on some random facts about Barney Miller. Did you know that the show was praised for its realistic portrayal of police work and was even used as a training tool for law enforcement? The series managed to tackle serious social issues with a light touch, paving the way for a unique blend of comedy and drama. Before we wrap up, we're curious about your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series. Did an episode leave you in stitches, or did the camaraderie of the characters make a lasting impact on you? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. Your perspective adds another layer to the rich tapestry of Barney Miller. So, whether you're a seasoned fan or just discovering the precinct, join the conversation and let us know your thoughts. Barney Miller, a classic television series that aired from 1975 to 1982, is a timeless gem renowned for its groundbreaking approach to the police procedural genre. Developed by Danny Arnold and Theodore J. Flicker, the show was a departure from the typical cop dramas of its era, opting for a character-driven narrative set in the fictional 12th Precinct in Greenwich Village, New York City. The titular character, Captain Barney Miller, portrayed by Hal Linden, led a diverse ensemble cast, including Abe Vigoda as the lovable Detective Fish, and Max Gale as the earnest Detective Wojciechowicz. The series masterfully blended comedy and drama, tackling social issues with wit and sensitivity. Its unique style centered on the precinct's daily grind, presenting a more authentic portrayal of police work often focusing on the mundane and humorous aspects rather than sensationalized crime solving. Barney Miller was celebrated for its witty dialogue, sharp writing, and memorable characters, offering a nuanced perspective on law enforcement. The show left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent police procedurals, and earning critical acclaim for its realism and humor. Its impact is evident in the enduring fondness fans harbor for the series, making Barney Miller an enduring classic. Danny Arnold, the creative force behind Barney Miller, faced a creative challenge in the show's last season. Admitting to running out of ideas, he opened the scriptwriting doors to pretty much everyone on the staff, and even their kids. The collaborative effort marked a unique approach, showcasing the creative struggle behind the scenes. Interestingly, this collaborative spirit extended beyond Barney Miller. Some of the show's recurring actors, actresses later found a place in Reinhold Weege's Night Court. This crossover adds another layer to the legacy of the characters, linking two distinct but memorable TV worlds. One standout figure, Florence Halep, known for her role in Barney Miller, also played a significant part in Night Court. Yet, she wasn't alone. Several actors, including Jack DeLeon, Stanley Brock, Kenneth Tigger, Phil Leeds, and Florence Stanley, seamlessly transitioned between both shows. This interconnectedness underscores the camaraderie and shared experiences among the actors in the evolving landscape of television. These behind-the-scenes dynamics provide a unique lens through which to appreciate the enduring legacy of Barney Miller. From the collaborative challenges of its final season to the interconnected cast members weaving through different shows, the series continues to leave its mark on television history. In a unique twist for a TV series, Barney Miller was initially conceived with a different cast in its original pilot, titled Barney Miller, The Life and Times of Barney Miller. With the exception of Hal Linden and Abe Vigoda, the entire cast in the pilot was replaced when the show was picked up for its first 13 episodes on ABC. Notably, Val Bisaglio, the original actor for Sergeant Grimaldi, was expected to continue his role but was replaced by Jack Suznik Yamada. The decision was influenced by ABC's reluctance to be associated with an actor who had appeared in a pornographic film. This casting change led to a dynamic where both Grimaldi and Yamana occupied the same desk on set. 
This behind-the-scenes reshuffling marked the beginning of Barney Miller's journey, setting the stage for the iconic series that would unfold. The deliberate choice to rework the cast speaks to the meticulous decisions made in shaping the show's identity. Stay tuned as we delve further into the intriguing aspects that define the 1975 TV series Barney Miller. Detective Nick Yamana's character in the 1975 TV series Barney Miller had interesting connections to the Broadway play and film Flower Drum Song. Jack Su, who portrayed Yamana, previously played Samuel Adams, Sammy Fong in the movie, and MC Frankie Wing on the stage. These subtle references added depth to Yamana's character, showcasing the show's attention to detail. Now, let's explore more intriguing facets of Barney Miller, from its unique character traits to the behind-the-scenes decisions that shaped its identity. Stay tuned for an insightful journey into the world of Barney Miller, where every detail mattered. Barney Miller's unmade film, a missed opportunity during the peak of its success. Barney Miller faced the prospect of making a feature film. The producers were approached with the idea of bringing the show to the big screen, using the regular cast members to continue the legacy. However, despite the initial discussions, the film never materialized. The notion of a Barney Miller movie stirred excitement among fans, eager to see Captain Barney Miller and his eclectic team tackle crime in a cinematic format. The concept offered a chance to explore new dimensions of the characters and the 12th Precinct. Unfortunately, logistical challenges or creative considerations led to the project's abandonment. The unmade film stands as a fascinating what if in the series history, leaving fans to ponder the untapped potential of a Barney Miller feature. The show's unique blend of comedy and drama could have taken on a new life on the silver screen providing an extended narrative for the beloved characters. While the film may never have come to fruition, the mere prospect of it adds another layer to the intricate history of Barney Miller. The series, known for its innovative approach to police procedurals, almost ventured into uncharted territory with a full-length cinematic adaptation. Join us as we delve deeper into the untold stories and behind-the-scenes decisions that shaped Barney Miller, exploring its journey from TV to the brink of a feature film. Stay tuned for an insightful exploration into the world of Barney Miller, where missed opportunities highlight the show's enduring legacy. As we bid adieu to the nostalgic precinct of the Twelfth, where the echoes of typewriters and the camaraderie of diverse characters once resonated, take a moment to stroll down memory lane with Barney Miller. This 1975 TV series wasn't merely a show, it was a slice of life, a blend of wit, humor, and the peculiar charm that only the detectives of the 12th Precinct could exude. Now, pause for a moment. Reflect on those nights spent with Fish, Wojo, Harris, and the rest of the crew. The banter, the subtle nuances, and the unmistakable chemistry that made each episode a gem in the vast sea of television. What was it about Barney Miller that hooked you? Was it the brilliantly crafted dialogues, the impeccable timing, or perhaps the way it mirrored the intricacies of everyday life? As you sift through the corridors of your own experiences with Barney and his squad, we invite you to share those cherished moments. Whether it's a favorite episode that left you in stitches or a character whose quirks became endearing companions, let the memories flow. Your reflections not only add depth to the narrative, but also create a shared tapestry of nostalgia that transcends time. In the ever-evolving landscape of television, Barney Miller stands as a testament to the enduring power of genuine storytelling. It's more than just a show, it's a reservoir of laughter, a mosaic of human connections that weaves its way into our hearts. So, dear friend, the precinct doors may have closed, but the memories linger. Share your thoughts, your laughter, and your anecdotes. Let's celebrate the legacy of Barney Miller together. Thank you for joining us on this retrospective journey and for sharing a piece of your own TV history. Your connection makes these moments timeless.